morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, February 24th, and it is a beautiful, beautiful day. You can tell it's going to be a wonderful day today. So, last night was pretty mild, man. I slept really, really good. I woke up, it was like 5.34, and it was. I noticed it had gotten a, a good bit chillier, so I put on some layers and then I went back to sleep for an hour. And honestly, I could have kept sleeping. So I got up this morning, got all my stuff packed up, had some coffee. And I am all ready to go hike. So today, I am going to do that 15.2 to the Shelton Grave. And um, this section is pretty tough. But it's also beautiful coming up. Um, if I remember correctly last year. And I have a gnarly climb like right off the bat. I climb up, then I'll go down a little bit, and then I have this just long, long, steep climb coming up. Um, so, yeah, but I always like to get those um, taken care of first thing in the morning. But, man, I think it is going to be a wonderful day. So, I am going to go ahead and pack up the rest of my stuff and put my pack on my back and get to hiking northbound, and I will get back with y'all. All right. So I am at Little Laurel Shelter. So this is the second shelter after you leave Hot Springs northbound. And I believe it's 20.5 or something like that. So if you got the legs, you could probably make it to the shelter. So let's do a tour, shall we? Okay. First off, let's look at this picnic table. Not too bad, um, not too great either, but it's got a nice view of the privy. So the privy is like right here, but it's also got a nice view of the mountains. And then there is a fire ring. The bear cables are over here. And then let's look at this shelter, shall we? So it's stone. I like that. It's not one of those log cabin things. Um, but I bet there's a lot of mice in here. They like to live in those stone walls. And let's see, it's a plywood down here. Let's see how many we got. Okay, so you could do 11 super sardine hiker bubble. Uh, 10... Very, very still uncomfortable. Eight, nine, seven, uncomfortable. Six, not that comfortable, but not too bad. Four, not too bad. Three, pretty comfortable. Two, very comfortable. One, perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Not too bad of a shelter. 
But I think I did read something about there being lots of mice on this shelter, in this shelter, um, and gut hooks. But yeah, not too bad. I would definitely duck out in it if I had to. Yeah, so I have a 1.8 mile climb straight up still. And um, so I am going to get to hiking and um, get that climb over with. And I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I am at White Rock Cliffs. Man, look at this view. I love this view. This is one of my favorite views. Man, I love the cliffs, how the jagged cliffs. So basically, I don't know if you can see, but the trail goes right across there and then it wraps all the way around and comes back here. So when you're over there hiking along the trail, you can see these cliffs through the trees. You're not gonna see it um, once the leaves fill in at all, but right now, as you can see, I doubt you can see it, but I can see the trail pretty um, obviously. It goes right along there. And yeah, you can see these as you're walking along there and then you wrap around and come back. I love that, man. I just love that. Seeing where you were and hiking around. I don't know what about that, man. I just love it. Life is good.
Hey y'all, so I am at where the Bad Weather Trail and the Ridgeline Trail meet. So, if you don't want to do that Ridgeline and it's really bad, they do have a Bad Weather Trail if the weather's like really rainy. Um, like if it was iced over um, and you didn't have micro spikes, you might want to take the Bad Weather Trail. I would still try the Ridgeline Trail because you saw the views and they are amazing. That ridge line, I love it. I always remember it. 2016, last year, this year, just an amazing ridge line. Um, I met this guy. I've been leapfrogging him. He's like a conservation biologist guy. Basically, he is he monitors like the hawk nests and and bird nests, and um, he writes notes and he just hikes around and looks at the views. And I'm like, and he's young, man. I'm like, dude. Dude, you got a good job. Man, that dude's lucky, man. And you can tell he just had a big old smile on his face. And this is his job, to hang out here. Awesome. Man, I wish I was getting paid for this. But I don't mind doing it for free either. Yeah, so I have five and a half miles to hike. And it's almost one o'clock. So I better get a move on and hike northbound. And I will get back with y'all. All right. y'all i am on big butt this was named after sir mix a lot's geniusly sophisticated lyrical song i like big butts yeah so and i'm not gonna lie and i can't deny I'm kind of a fan myself but yeah this view is it's not bad, man, but compared to the other stuff I've had today, mm, nah, it's nice, it's nice, it's really nice. Man, it, it really is nice. Yeah, definitely climb up to Big Butt and check it out. Man, this is an awesome place, man. If I was Sir Mix a lot, I would be, man, I would be flattered that they named this after one of my songs. Which, I mean, honestly, that is Americana. I like big butts. It really is. Man, everybody was jamming that in like 88, 89, right? Maybe 90. I don't know. It was all a blur to me. 
Anyways, I am going to keep on hiking northbound. I am almost to the Shelton Graves. And it is going to be good to see them again. I almost feel like family. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And, man, I mean, beautiful day, beautiful day. <sighs> Should I say it? Okay, I'll say it. Life is good. Life is good. Alright y'all, this is my home for the night. And as you can see, I am camped right next to the Shelton's. And then, so I'm going to be doing, I have all my stuff over here and stuff to edit and cook. The reason I don't like to camp over there, there's lots of flat spots, but there's tons of widow makers up there. And I just don't trust them. That is my biggest fear. Really my only fear out here are those widow makers. It's the only thing I think about a lot, worry about, especially when it's windy. So this is mile 305.5. So I hit 300 miles, five and a half miles back. Woohoo, 300 miles. Man, I should be a lot farther than I am, but that's okay. Like I said, man, if this takes me seven, eight months, eh, I'm okay with it. Why not? Because like I said, when I get home, I know I'll just want to be back out here. So I learned my lesson about rushing through this thing, man. There's no reason to. I'm trying to stay out of the sun. Man, the sun is really coming down. Let me move that over here. So, yeah, this is the Shelton Graves spot, man. I love it. So 15.2 today, and man, it was tough. It was a tough section for sure. Um, I mean, you're climbing most of the time, and um, that ridge is amazing, but it's a lot of work, like a lot of climbing up and down. So pretty much I was on a ridge a good, good chunk of the day. Um, in the beginning, I had this huge climb, and then you just got on these ridges, and you're just like roller coaster, but you're trending upward most of the time. So yeah, it's a tough little section, but beautiful and totally worth it for, in my opinion. I love this section. It's one of my favorite in Tennessee, North Carolina. So since I am on the east side of the trail, I am in North Carolina officially. If you camp on the west side of the trail, you're in Tennessee. And what well, yesterday I was on the east side, so I was in North Carolina yesterday too. Yeah, man, I love this spot. So amazing. I already feel like the energy and stuff. So I am going to go ahead and do my thing. Um, I got to edit. I'm going to cook. Man, I am hungry. And yeah, I guess I'm going to have to carry more food. I don't know how I'm possibly going to carry more food though. 
but I'm going to have to figure it out. Yeah, so let me go ahead and do my things, and I will get back with you before the end of the day. All right. Good evening, y'all. So, I am going to end the video here. Man, what an amazing day. I mean, the weather was just amazing. I hiked most of the day with just my t-shirt on. I could have took my tights off, but I just didn't want to stop and do it. But I didn't get really too hot in them. That's what I like about those tights is you don't get too hot and you don't get too cold in them, so... They work out, they balance out really good. And then um, that exposed ridge, just amazing. And I don't know, this section's just really cool, but it's tough, man. I mean, the majority of the day you're climbing, easily 75% of the day you're climbing on this section. Um, but this camp spot, I love it, man. So last year I camped at that last spot and then this spot, and I'm doing it again this year. And then what happened last year was I woke up and it was snowing and then it stopped and I hiked to Sam's Gap and then all of a sudden there was a blizzard and I remember I got off at um, Mother, Mother Marion's Hostel, but I don't even know if they are having it open because it's a couple and they just run it out of their house and they're seniors, so I don't know if they're open or not, but... But I'm not sure what the weather is supposed to do. I have absolutely no service. Um, when I left, it was supposed to be good during the day and then just rain at night. And then it said it was going to rain for a while. So I don't know. I think I have two. I mean, probably I could get into Irwin in two days, maybe two and a half days. We'll see. It would be awesome if the weather held out. But you know it isn't because this is the app. Balachin Trail and good weather just doesn't it's not real consistent on this at, out here you know what I mean well anyways I am going to I am going to get into my tent because it is getting chilly and um finish doing this video and read and the same thing I do every night and I will talk with y'all in the morning all right mm -hmm.